we present in this chapter an extension of deterministic finite automata. It corresponds to non-deterministic finite automata. This model is a little bit weird at the beginning since, as we'll see in a second, the execution of the machine on an input word is not uniquely determined. This kind of machine has several execution paths for a given word that can be chosen in a non-deterministic manner. It sounds weird, I agree. Let's see an example. Here we have a non-deterministic finite automaton. It looks like a deterministic one at first look, but it has some differences. From this state, there are two transitions defined for A, one going to the first state and one going to the second state. But we are not done with rarities. Look at the last state. There are no transitions defined. Both if we get an A or a B, we don't go anywhere. Reading a symbol from this state takes us nowhere. Let's see an example of execution with a concrete word. This one. What we'll see is that there are actually several possible executions. Let's see one possible execution. After reading the first A, we can stay in the first state. We read a B, and using the same transition, we stay again in the same state. We read B and stay. We read A and stay. We read B and stay. And we read the last A and stay in the first state. Since the first state is a rejecting state, the word is rejected in this concrete execution. Let's see another execution. With first A, we can jump to the second state. With B, to the third one. With next B, to the last one. And now, since there are no transitions defined, the rest of the symbols take us to nowhere. These are rejecting execution. Another option would be to read the first A and stay in the first state. Read a B and stay again in the same state. Read B and stay, read A and stay, read B and stay, and read the last A and jump to the second state. Since it is a rejecting state, these are rejecting execution again. Let's see one last option. We read the first A and stay in the first state. Read a B and stay again in the same state. Read B and stay. With this A, we jump to the second state. With this B, we jump to the third state. And with the last A, we jump to the last state. This is an accepting state. We have an accepting execution. By definition, the set of words accept by the automaton is the set of words such that there exists an accepting execution for them. In this case, it is easy to guess that the words that have an A in the third position from the end are the ones with an accepting execution. Sometimes non-deterministic automata are mistakenly understood as machines with probabilities in some of its transitions that may be fire or not with a certain probability and hence sometimes a word is accept and sometimes reject. This is not the case. An automaton accepts a word if there is exists an accepting execution for this word. Let's see now that any non-deterministic finite automaton can be transformed in a deterministic one recognizing the same language. The idea is that the deterministic automaton simulates all possible executions of the non-deterministic automaton. It will remember all the states that the non-deterministic automaton can reach with the word read until the moment. From the initial state of the deterministic automaton, we'll simulate that the non-deterministic automaton is in the initial state. That's why we mark it with an uppercase A. After reading a B, since the non-deterministic automaton can only go to a state A, the deterministic automaton will stay in the same state. After reading an A, since the non-deterministic automaton can either go to A or to B, 
will jump to a new state called AB, remembering in this way that the non-deterministic automaton might be in both states A and B with the word red until the moment. What happens with the state AB when we read a B? Since this state is remembering that we are in A or B, since from state A we can go to itself, we must remember that we can go to A. But since reading a B from uppercase B, let us go to C, we must also remember that we can go to C. That's why from AB with a B we jump to AC. What happens with the state AB when we read an A? Since from uppercase A, reading an A, we go to both states A and B, we must remember that we can go to AB. But since from state B with an A, we can go to C, we must also remember that we can reach C. That's why from AB after reading an A, we go to ABC. That is letting us remember that we might be located in any of these three states. What happens from state AC with input B? From A we can go to A and from C we can go to D. That's why in the determinized automaton we go to state AD. If from state AC we get an A, note that in the non-deterministic automaton we can go to both A and B, and from C we can go to D. Hence, from AC with an A we jump to ABD. The rest of the automaton is built in an analogous way by considering the set of reachable states in the non-deterministic automaton from every state of the deterministic automaton for the two possible symbols A and B, and creating new states if necessary. As accepting states, we mark the states in whose name appears an accepting state of the original non-deterministic automaton. This means that some of the execution reaches an accepting state.